all right so this session we are going to look into ethernet frame format how does ethernet frame looks and what are the things that is to be noted in ethernet frame okay so this is our ethernet frame format and i would like to show this in a screenshot okay so this is our ethernet frame format and here you can see the first two fields are preamable and sfd these two fields okay so these two fields combines of a 8 byte and what is these two fields are for these two fields indicates whether the uh, any information is being coming to the layer 2 to make it simple you can see here as this tells the receiver that the ethernet frames are incoming so based on this if any informations that is being coming from the upper layer let's consider if any information is coming out from the uh, any sort of upper layer or from uh, outside of the source that is from the other computer if any information is being coming towards the receiver end with the help of these two information that is with the preamble and sfd we came to know about that some information is being coming to the layer 2 so we need to process about it so this is what our preamble and sfd is about so the sfd will always be ends with one one as one one is being indicated in this field which tells the next um if it ends with a one one means the main ethernet frame that is going to be get started that is with the destination mac address the next field will be the destination mac address that's what this indicates about one one so once if it is set with one one the main ethernet frame is going to start so we need to process for the main ethernet frame process okay so next is about uh, uh destination mac so what destination mac is about uh, we all know about a mac address is a six byte value and the destination mac to whom we need to send so this is what a destination mac is about okay next is the source mac from whom we are getting the information or to whom uh, from where we are going to send that is from the source from ourselves if i am trying to send to the information to my neighbor i am the source and my neighbor is a destination my neighbor is a destination and i am the source here if i have received a packet if i have received a packet from my neighbor at the time also the receiving packet will have the source from whom they have sent and destination will be the me if i have received the packet if i am sending i will be the source if i am receiving the destination will be me that differs from whom sent and whom receive okay next is the interesting part that's what is the type is about so the type tells as what type of uh, information we are getting or what type of data is there that's what the information type is about so let's have a um, clear example over here suppose if you are getting information of uh, data this data information which is about uh, MPLS packet this information is about a MPLS if you are getting a, uh, information from the MPLS packet this type will indicate that the data which is been in this frame belongs to MPLS how does it says to it belongs to the MPLS with the help of its code MPLS packet not only for MPLS but also for IPv4 IPv6 VLAN or whatever be the packet that has been coming or whatever be the information that has been there in the data will have each of them will have a separate code for it if it is an MPLS it will be indicated by the code of 8847 which indicates this value is in hexadecimal so we need to indicate in 0x okay this value is a hexadecimal format 8847 which indicates the data is a MPLS information okay so by this information by this type value if it has been 8847 or um, different thing if it is an IPv4 it will be as 0800 and ARP is 0806 so based on the value in that type we can know about what type of data that has been coming that's what this type is about have a clear uh, idea you can it tells us what type of packet it is and these are some of the examples about what type of information that has been there you can also look into the wikipedia page for more and clear information over here so if you look at here 
can show you some sort of information. Okay, so ARP will be 0806, IP4 will be 0800, and there are n number of things which can be seen over here for IPv6, it's uh, 86DD and Ethernet flow control. So there are n number of information for the type Ethernet type which specifies what type of information that is in there within the Ethernet frame. Okay, all right. So this is what a type is about. Next is about data. So what is data? The data is the information that we are getting. So this is the information we already seen. If it is an MPLS, based on this data, the type will be specified. If it is an IPv4 packet, it will be specified in 0800. If it is an R packet, it will be 0806. So based on this information, the type value will change us, but it will be in hexadecimal format. Okay, next is about uh, CRC, that is FRC. FRC is a frame check sequence. Um, what does that mean? It helps you to check whether the information is corrupted or not. It helps you to detect if the given information is being validated. If it is corrupted or not, whether it is a legitimate information. So this is what uh, this FRC is about. It helps you to check whether it is being corrupted or not. The given frame format is corrupted or not. That's what a uh, FRC is about. So this is what an Ethernet frame and how does this work? Let's have a quick overview about what is an Ethernet frame. So first thing is about preamble and SFD, which indicates we are getting the information into the layer two. This is what a preamble and SFD, okay? Uh, the SFD which ends with a value of 1 1 which indicates the main Ethernet frame starts which means then first thing will be the destination map then uh, the first format will be the destination map so if it ends with 1 1 the main Ethernet frame starts main Ethernet frame starts with a destination MAC so it always knows about the next field will be the destination MAC to make it simpler the if is the SFD sees if it has a value of 1 1, the next field will be the destination map the Ethernet frame knows. I hope you understand this. If it sees the SFD value will be 1 1, the next thing will be the destination map. Okay, so destination map to whom we need to send the information and source map from whom we are sending the information. If I need to send the information to my neighbor, I am the source and he will be the destination. So that's what a destination and source map. Next is about a type. Type basically is based on the what type of data it comes. So first we need to know about the data. Suppose the data is a R packet or if it is an MPLS packet, what type of uh, information is there in the data? Based on that, the type value changes. It will be in hexadecimal format. So the type is based on the data. Okay. So this is what a type and data. Next is about a FRC. FRC is nothing but a frame check sequence which helps you to detect whether the given frame is being corrupted or not. So this is what a uh, Ethernet frame is about. And mm -hmm. this is a normal Ethernet frame. If you are having a VLAN, the VLAN will be added between the uh, type and the data uh, somewhere over here. So the VLAN information will be added somewhere over here. So which indicates, okay, which indicates the additional four bytes of information that is the additional four bytes of Ethernet frame will be added over there. So we will see in the some other session with the VLAN um, frame format. So other things remains the same for a VLAN information. All right. So I hope you understand this. What is an Ethernet frame and what are the fields and what is the use of each fields? That's it. Thanks for watching. Until next time.